Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm back with a oven and a microwave oven deep clean. Um, these are the before shots, as you can see. Uh, yeah, filthy and just wait till you see the dirt that came off them. Um, so to start, I'm just showing what I'm using. So I'm using this Minky Hob Scraper, some elbow grease, um, like scrub stuff, the elbow grease uh, power spray, the elbow grease scrubber, and also obviously some gloves. So just starting, just opening up and taking all the racks out. So I had those soaking um, in the sink in the other room, took out the liner as well, and then just going in with the minky scrubber. This is like a non-scratch thing and it just helps get all the tough stains up. Um, wait till you see in a minute uh, what came up. It's, yeah, disgusting. So this is what was on the just the front door of the oven. So you can see that scraper gets the stuff up really well. Um, once I've done that, I'm just going in with the elbow grease spray and the sponge. And again, I will show you in a minute what's on the sponge. Um, how often do you clean your ovens? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I clearly need to do mine more. We don't really cook greasy stuff in there. Um, you can see me talking to Jake at this point because I was shocked at how bad it was. Um, but yeah, we just cook like, we've like fresh cook every day. So yeah, maybe it's because we use it a lot. But yeah, any recommend other recommendations? Also, annoyingly, when I first got this, when we first moved in, um, I was cleaning the oven when it probably didn't even need cleaning, and I got some product like in between the like you can see where those gaps are at the top, and it's gone in between the glass, and I cannot get it out for love nor money. I've YouTubed how to like get the glass off to get in between it, and it just doesn't seem to work on my oven. So if anyone knows how I can get my glass off my front um, like the door bit so I can clean in between, please do let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so once I've done the door, it's the same drill in the inside, so just using the scraper, then going in with the spray and also the sponge as well. Then slightly different to the door, I'm just going in with the um, elbow grease paste as well because there seem to be like quite a few marks um, and like build up of stuff inside the oven. So just got rid of those um, using the scrubber and the elbow grease paste. Then just going in with some more elbow grease spray and the sponge again just to get rid of any excess and just again get rid of any marks buff up. This some of the stuff was so like ground in it was just yeah ridiculous. Um, but yeah just scrubbing for a little bit. It didn't actually take too long and it did come up quite well um, but I'm just concerned about uh, the chemicals when you're like using it for so much cook. So if anyone's got any other recommendations again please do let me know in the comments. Um, then once I've done that, I just went in with a cloth and some warm water just to get up any of the excess um, of the product. Then I went in with this Mr. Muscle. Um, it says it's like a degreaser stuff that you spray in and you let it sit for half an hour and then um, you can wipe it off and it gets rid of all the stuff. I'm going to tell you now, um, it didn't really work and it was really chemically smelling so I won't be using that one again. Um, it might work for some people's but I just didn't get on with it. But if, again, if you've got any recommendations, please do let me know. Then moving on to the microwave oven. So this is our warming drawer and we usually use the microwave because it's got the grill in it as well. Um, for toast, so loads of crumbs get into this bit, hence why I'm using the hoover. Um, Jake came in and was laughing at me because he was like, what the hell are you doing? But um, yeah, so just getting rid of all the crumbs before again going in with the spray and the um, scraper um, to get rid of any stuff that is in the microwave. And 
it once I'd used the scraper, just going in with the elbow grease spray on a clean cloth just to get rid of anything. Um, the microwave oven, because I said we only use it really for a grill in the microwave, there wasn't much in there. Um, just like a bit of a crumbs really and like if we'd had like a splatter of something that so that came up um, really really well um, so yeah just doing the front bit as well Once I've used all the elbow grease stuff, I just went in with the Dettol multi-surface spray um, just to, like, again, get rid of any products and try to make it less chemically. I know Dettol spray is a chemical, but you can use it in, like, kitchen areas um, to get rid of any of that bacteria and stuff, so I was hoping that would help. So just doing that in both the uh, microwave oven and the other oven and the warming drawer. After letting the uh, mist muscle soak, just went in with a warm um, cloth with warm water on just to get rid of any of that product. As I just said, it didn't really work and I personally wouldn't recommend it and I don't think I'll be using it again. Um, but obviously you have to try these things um, to see if they work or not. But then once I've wiped all that, just going back in with the Dettol spray again to get rid of any further excess and just make sure it's not too much of a chemically spell smell in the oven. So once I've done the inside and put all the racks and stuff back, I just went in with the Dettol spray um, to buff the fronts up before then going in with the pink stuff glass spray just to make sure there's not any smudges or marks from where I've used the um, Dettol spray. And this is the end result so as you can see so much better and so much cleaner um, so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to stick around for more guys and don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys bye